Hello everybody, welcome to Truss Warming Basics. In our last video we took a gold post and we lit it up in what we call a static color, which is just one solid color. This time around we're going to take an LED fixture and we're going to use internal programs and DMX to do sound active color changes and fades. So instead of showing you box trussing totems today, I'm going to show you glow totem trussing, but it works exactly the same. What you have is a bottom plate a top plate, and then four single tubes. It's really compact for the mobile DJ. I already had them set up. And then what you do is you pull this truss cover over everything, and it looks just like a box truss would with this cover on it. All right, so with our light, we're gonna be looking at some programs that are internal. You don't need any kind of DMX control for this. You just turn the light on and find a program that suits your needs. So we can flip through here, see what we've got. This is sound active. Look at this, every time there's a little hit on here, it changes color. Pretty simple. Now you can adjust sound active to whatever sensitivity level you want it to be. Let's go ahead and crank the sensitivity level up. And then we'll make some noise and see what this looks like. But first, let's get this light inside of the totem this one in. It goes in pretty nice though. The yoke you can just kind of turn it up a little bit. You don't have to remove it if you don't want to. Now we'll turn the fixture on and we should be on sound active. Why yes we are. Let's pull this truss cover down and have a look. Great for you DJs out there who don't do much but play dance music. You can just put this on sound active and it just changes colors. Now if you have two of these totems, which you probably should have at least two, you can master slave your lights together so they change together. Let's say you want to go for a more elegant look. You would like a fade. Well, let's figure that out. Now you can absolutely adjust the speed of this fade. And on this particular fixture, you can choose several different types of color fades that show you different colors. Now another cool option you can do to control your lights is using something like a DMX controller. This is a pretty simple one. I've got it on a four channel RGB color mix program right now where I can bring in any color and take out any color I want. See there's an amber like candlelight. Add some red. It's kind of like fire. Or I could leave the amber and add some green or some blue. And look, it's kind of a superhero color there. I could bring it down and have a regular green. Or I could bring this amber up and get more of a superhero color. Now the other thing I can do that's pretty cool is I can do things like chases. So for example, look at that. My light's chasing. Now I can slow this chase down with my controller and make it like a fade. Or I can speed it up. But you can do this all via a DMX controller and you can change it up throughout the night. So let's say that you got a fast song going on. Things are going kind of fast. Now you put on a slow song, simply use your DMX controller to slow that down into a fade. So there are a few cool ways that you can control your lights when you're warming truss. Either internal programs, or you can go a little more advanced and go DMX control. It's a little more stuff to worry about as far as your controller and all that, but it really does give you some cool options and you can change up your light show throughout the evening without touching the fixture at all. There you have it. I hope it helps somebody. Until next time, practice and enjoy.